Theodore Roosevelt. He was the 26th United States president. He was born in New York City, New York, United States on October 27, 1858. His father's name was Theodore Roosevelt Sr. and mother's name was Martha. His father was a businessman and philanthropist and mother was a socialite. After being homeschooled, he enrolled at the Harvard College in 1876, from where he graduated with a magna cum laude in 1880. He took admission at Columbia Law School. He dropped out of college in 1881 to run for New York Assembly. He remained a member of the New York State Assembly for three consecutive years, from 1882 to 1884. Later he worked as a cowboy and cattle rancher. He returned to politics in 1886 and ran for the New York mayorship elections as a Republican candidate but lost. Unaffected by the loss, he continued to pursue a career in public service. In 1888, he was appointed to the United States Civil Service Commission, where he served until 1895. He became president of the Board of New York City Police Commissioners in 1895. In 1897, President William McKinley appointed Roosevelt to the post of Assistant Secretary of the Navy. He played a significant role in preparing the Navy for the Spanish-American War. He was even nominated for Congressional Medal of Honor. America's highest military honor for his courageous antics. In 1898, he was elected as the governor of New York. After the assassination and the untimely death of McKinley, he was appointed to the post of the president on September 14, 1901. In 1904, he won the presidential elections in a landslide victory. As a president, he looked to uplift the working and middle class by introducing domestic programs that reformed American workplace. He bulked out the United States Navy and created a great white fleet and directed it on a world tour. Tagged as the country's first modern president, he dealt with numerous issues during his rule, including civil rights, racial discrimination and women's suffrage. In 1908, he decided not to run for another term and instead supported his friend and former Secretary of War William Howard Taft in the presidential elections, which Taft won. For the next couple of years, 1909-1910, he embarked on a tour, including one as a special ambassador to England. Upon returning, he was disappointed with Taft's handling of government and decided to run for the presidency. However, since Taft was running as the Republican candidate, he sought to start a new party and run from it. He initiated the Progressive Herbal Moose Party and started campaigning for the 1912 elections. It was during the campaigning that he barely escaped an assassination attempt by John Epi McShrank. He lost the elections to Woodrow Wilson in a close call. During World War I, he jumped back to the political scene, frustrated at Wilson's stand for neutrality. In 1916, he again considered running for the presidential seat but gave up in favor of Republican Party nominee Charles Evans Hughes. Political career aside, he had published about 25 books in his lifetime. He even published a biography and autobiography, Rough Riders. His most ambitious book was The Winning of the West, which comprised of four volumes. He first tied the nuptial knot with Alice Hathwaley of Massachusetts in 1880. They were blessed with a daughter. 
The tragic death of his wife on February 14, 1884 led him to remarry in 1886 to childhood friend, Edith Kermit Caro. The couple was blessed with five children. In 1906, he became the proud recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize for his contribution to bring an end to the Russian-Japanese War. In 2001, he was posthumously conferred with the Congressional Medal of Honor. He was died in Oyster Bay, New York, United States on January 6, 1919. To educate a man in mind and not in morals is to educate a menace to society," said Theodore Roosevelt.